Florida, the land of sand and sunshine, some ride the waves and others make their own. Let's go, Josh! Ten-year-old Josh Zukowski is one of the top young swimmers in the country. I like it because it's a sport that you can like swim as a team and it's individual. When he was just eight, he finaled in six out of seven events at the Junior Olympics. Well, at that point, he was the fastest eight-year-old in the history of the sport in South Florida. And no one is more impressed with his talent than the coach of his swim team, the Jupiter Dragons. He is a talented swimmer. However, it's not just talent. He's a hard worker, very focused swimmer. Practicing six and sometimes seven days a week, He's as present in the backyard pool as the chlorine. Because hard work always beats talent any day. Still as good as Josh is, there is one swimmer he's always looked up to. And I would be like, wow, I want to be like him when I get older. Let's go, Reese! Reese Branzell is a year older than Josh. And like Josh, he's been breaking long-standing records. At eight, he was doing the Junior Olympics, so he's swimming against 10-year-olds. When Josh isn't in the pool, he likes to be on the side of it, watching Reese. When my mom said that there was this little kid named Josh Zakowski, he looks up to you like he's your, like he looks up to you like you're his hero, almost. And, I'm, and so I'm surprised that anybody would look up to me. But by the spring of 2013, instead of just looking up to Reese, he was standing next to him on the starting blocks. Thus began a very special rivalry. They would race against each other, and, and it, was, it was good. Reese would win, Josh would win. It was very competitive. Their competitive level with the two of them, they just drove each other. Then, with the season winding down, Josh showed up for one of the biggest swim meets of the year. But someone was missing. That someone was Reese. He randomly started complaining one day of uh, his hip hurting and he started limping. He had this, this fever that just would not break. Reese had been admitted to the hospital and he'd be there for the better part of the next five weeks. The diagnosis, something called osteomyelitis, an infection of the hip. Doctors tried one antibiotic after another and nothing seemed to work. He looked at me and he said, Dad, am I going to die? And I, you know, you don't expect that coming from a nine-year-old, a ten-year-old kid. And it, it, it like crushed me. Then something happened to lift his spirits. Though Reese wasn't on the starting block, he was on Josh's mind. How would you feel if you were in the hospital? Would you feel bad or would you feel good? So Josh did something few nine-year-olds would ever even think of. He dedicated his next race to Reese and went out and won yet another first place trophy. Then a few hours later, Reese got a phone call in his hospital room that someone had dropped off a trophy at his house. Reese, I am so sorry that you have not been feeling well. With the get trophy well. was a get well card signed by Josh. Months later, Reese still has it. I'd rather get second with you at the meet than win with you absent. I won this trophy for you today. I hope to see you back in the pool, your friend Josh. I, you know, as a grown man on the phone, I was, you know, choked up, tears in my eyes. I was, I, I was speechless for a little while. It was unbelievable. Reese has recovered, and the rivalry has resumed. That was awesome, honey. But it has far more meaning than it ever had before. That was great. The fact that, that Josh thought of my son before he thought of himself meant a lot. It served as an example of that swimming is not everything. You know, life is bigger than swimming. I probably learn more from Josh every day than I teach him, and I couldn't be more proud one young boy showing that kids can be as deceiving as a swimming pool. You never know how deep they really are. Gives you hope that there is still hope. <laughs>